cracking guys, Omar Esau here, back with another body transformation video. In this video I want to talk about my intermediate body transformation, what we could all learn from it, the mistakes I made, and how basically I achieved this transformation. Because here's the truth, I think every single person watching this uh, from years 2 to 5 can achieve a similar transformation. It's a good example. Let me throw up the photos and uh, if you guys need to check out, I'm going to link in the description my beginner transformation, my first 18 months of lifting. So this is going to represent years 2 to 5. The starting photo, as you can tell, it's alright, like it's about someone that's been lifting roughly 2 years. But if you notice from the end of my beginner transformation photo to this current photo, I kind of got a little softer, right? I didn't really add that much muscle and that is because after that beginner transformation I decided to do some strength training but the program that I followed was very low in volume and that's going to be one of the key lessons for this video. Volume is a key driver for hypertrophy. If you want to build some damn muscle, you got to put in the time, you got to do a lot of work. So what I did after that for the following six months I gained some weight but honestly not a lot of it was muscle mass. What I did is I followed a split, it was three to four times per week. The volume like I said however was quite low. The primary movement was like three sets of five, then there's two other movements and then one other optional movement. So you had four exercises, maybe eight sets or nine sets in total, uh, three to four times a week. That is not enough for a growing body that wants to build muscle. So as you can tell, that starting base after two years, I got a little softer and I did not build more muscle. Then I really took a look at my entire training and over the next three years I decided to myself I wanted to build some damn muscle. So here is what I did, here's what I learned. Uh, the other mistake, mistake number two that I made was that I was afraid of carbs. When I first did my first bulk, I gained 80 pounds in 8 fucking months. That's disgusting. It's horrible. And what I thought in my head, I wasn't like, oh, it was a caloric surplus. You're eating 5,000 calories a day. You go from 2,000 calories to 5,000 calories, no shit, you're going to gain a whole lot of weight. What I thought in my head, I'm like, it's the carbs, man. It was the carbs. Got to limit the carbs. So I was limiting my gains in those first two years because I was reducing the amount of carbs I was consuming. And that was really bad for my body, right? If I want to grow, I need that feel. I need that energy. So what I started to do from years you know, two to five is incorporate more carbs and go more on a sensible lean mass phase. Whereas at the beginning, I did the YOLO bulk. This was more intelligent. I would track roughly how many calories I ate. I would you know, eat roughly the same every single day. And I would measure you know body measurements every single month just to see how I was doing and after I think two years I went on a straight lean mass phase where I went from around 100 like low 160s to about 180 or something like that I went on a mini cut once again so I'd go on a lean mass phase remember we want to talk about that nutrient partitioning so we want to make sure that we stay lean because the leaner we stay the easier it is to build lean muscle mass and so I would do that and then if I got a little fluffy like, let's face it man you know winter comes okay Christmas you gotta enjoy yourself uh, then I would do that mini cut four weeks so essentially I was in a period of three years full of just gains right gaining weight slowly oh got a little fluffy reduce it a little bit keep going and so what ended up happening if you see after three years is that while I only technically gained 14 pounds I probably put on close to about 20 pounds of muscle or, or 20 quality pounds what I'd say in three years of intermediate lifting the other key variable however was that number three is that like I said I was pushing the volume volume being that key driver for hypertrophy so I was changing up the rep ranges I was doing exercises that I needed to do in order for my body to grow I already had the fledgling ash chest at that time, but I made sure I did more push volume. I did more overhead pressing for the deltoids. I made sure I tried to round out my physique. My back was lagging, so I did more back work. I took more of that bodybuilding approach. However, that also complemented what I was doing at the time, which was strength training. So really what I was doing is if I was training before three to four times a week, during the next three years, I would train four to five times per week. So most days or most weeks, I would train five times per week. And what I would do, I would do anywhere between 16 to around 24 sets. So already as you could tell, from the beginner phase to now the intermediate, I doubled my volume and that volume was key for building that muscle. The fifth and final component that I personally feel is very important for this intermediate body transformation is to put an emphasis on progressive overload, trying to get stronger. So I did increase my volume a whole lot. I did eat more. I uh, made sure that when I was in that surplus, I wasn't YOLO bulking. I did do cardio to make sure that I didn't get fat. That's all great, but one of the key drivers was pushing my strength because as I said, 
said before, think about it. If I can do like 225 for 10 reps, or if I can do 275 for 10 reps, what's gonna build more muscle? The two seven, all the things being equal, 275 for 10 reps. So I kept trying to get stronger, but that is the balance. I kept trying to get stronger while not at the expense of sacrificing all the volume that was necessary for hypertrophy. So really they're complementing each other. And I've said this before, if you do straight strength training, you'll have more strength gains. If you do straight you know, bodybuilding, you'd have more bodybuilding gains. But trying to incorporate both of those, I think is a very sensible, beneficial route to do. And that's exactly what I did. So I focused a lot on hypertrophy. I also focused a lot on strength. I made sure I trained a whole lot. I ate it up and then I recovered. I really, if I had to break it down, I could say that years two to five, I took my training even more seriously than years you know, one to two and I think the results show for themselves. Now what is the key takeaway from this whole video? I would say it's the following. I'd say that during this transformation over the three years I wasn't aware of how much muscle I was building. When I looked day to day every single week or every single month I would think yeah like I'm kind of maybe building some muscle. When you put the three years the photos side by side before and after it's like holy shit this is a big transformation but at the time I had no idea and I want to reiterate it for everyone out there, it takes a whole lot of time and that's why, you know, progress, measurement photos, taking a look at these things are very important. Ways to track your progress because sometimes we can be disillusioned. We see someone else building muscle faster, we see maybe some of our idols, like why don't we look like these people, but it's about your own journey and what you can do. So focus on yourself, put in the time, and you will get the results. Now I'm excited for the next transformation that will be occurring. Uh, going from intermediate to advanced takes, in my opinion, a lot more time because you've already built up a good foundation of muscle. It's all about trying to build that last little bit and it takes even longer. Beginner gains come easy, intermediate takes more work and then advanced, huh, it takes a whole damn amount of time. That's it guys, that's the video. If you liked the video, let's face it, you made it to the end, what you waiting for, like the damn video and I'll be seeing all you guys. I'm posting the consistent, frequent uploads now in that next video.